Hello everyone! How's it going? Vasco here from the Angular University. In this lesson we are going to learn how to use the Angular Fire library to query objects in Firebase. It's coming right up. Now on to the second biggest construct of the Angular Fire library. So this is the primitive that allows us to handle Firebase lists. There is an equivalent primitive that allows us to handle objects. So let's say that for example we want to query this course here. So let's take the key and we are going to query it using the Angular Fire library. So let's simply call Angular Fire now. So we again we use database. So here we have another function available which is object. So let's just use it and we're going to pass it in the path to the course. So it's courses forward slash and then the key of the course. And again we get back an observable. So let's assign it to a variable ending in dollar. Here course dollar is an observable. And let's subscribe to it using the method that we just saw to quickly log it to the console. If we now inspect the console we can see that we get back now an object which the key corresponds to the key of the course and the properties contain the properties of the course. These two types, the Firebase Object Observable and the Firebase List Observable, are the two most important concepts of the Angular Fire library. They allow us to interact with all the data in the database. They also allow us not only to retrieve specific nodes under the form of observables, but we can also use them to modify data in the database. With these two API methods, so object and list, we can do just about any query to the Firebase database. We are going to see specifically in the list how to parameterize the query. Right now we are going to learn about write operations in Firebase. How do we modify the data using Angular Fire? It's coming right up.